Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dylan back again with another DJI Mavic Pro video. And today I'm doing part two or the second installment, if you will, of uh, the simple return to home, otherwise known as RTH feature to where you can hit a button and the drone will come back and land exactly where you took off from. So I just kind of wanted to do that again because now I have a screen recording device which allows you guys to see the interface and all that stuff a lot better um, than uh, someone filming it in the sun hitting the glare on the phone. It, it was just no good. Finally got a screen capturing device. So anyways, we're going to do a little RTH, show you guys how accurate it is and show you how to uh, set it up and how to do it in case you're ever in a situation where you need to use it. Okay, so first things first, as you can see here on my um, iPhone 7 Plus, um, what we're going to do is, is we're just going to set our home point, which it should do it automatically upon takeoff, but I always do it just to be sure. And um, The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. As you can hear, we just got our home point set. And so now we are going to take off, and I am going to do check this box that says precisely record takeoff point. Um, which what happens is it gets so high then it takes pictures uh, from underneath of where it took off from. Now let me get this camera and show you guys exactly what we have going on here. So as you can see, the drone is on this little pad and it's directly centered in between this H. So that is where it's going to take off from. Just making a note of that so we can see how close it is whenever it returns back. Okay, so now we're gonna take off. Okay, so let's get about 250 feet high. That ought to work. And let's just head, let's just head away from us for a little while. And I'm gonna fly the drone, oh, probably about 2,000 or so feet away from me just so we get good far and away so we can show you you know how impressive this uh, So we can show you guys how impressive this um, return to home feature really is So we are just kind of cruising it here Okay, so we are about 2,500 feet away and as you guys can see, I'm sure I just tapped on it with the green box. There's that water tower that I just um, took off by, so I'm over there somewhere. But anyways, 2,511 feet away. A lot of times I just use this when I'm ready to quit flying or I'm ready to come back to me anyways just because it's just so easy, it's so accurate. But um, just say you're in a situation to where you fly so far away that you, you lost track and you can't see it or you get in a panic situation or for some reason if you're or if if your RC, if your remote control dies, there's an option to have whenever you lose signal with the remote or it dies for the drone to just come back home. So that's why it's so important to set your home point every single time before you take off because if some disastrous, something disastrous happens or something goes bad, we have good old RTH. Now there's two different ways that you can um, tell the drone to come home via RTH or return to home. And the first one is, is there is a button right here that's a little gray black button with a pointing down arrow with the H, which um, means home point. So what you can do is, is you push and you hold until it starts beeping and then it'll come back automatically. The second one is, here on the app, you'll see the little, on the left side, the icon in the middle, the little arrow pointing down with the H. You can push that and it will return home. So, but we're going to use the one on the controller. So I'm gonna push and hold and you guys will hear and then that will engage return to home you can set your controller down do whatever you want and the drone will come back all on its own so here we go go home and then as you can see here on the screen it comes up with tips aircraft is returning to the home point blah 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 now that's my obstacle avoidance which i have disabled whenever the drone is um returning to home um it always seems so sensitive for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. It's kind of annoying, but it's like I'll fly all the time and I'll be up in the air in the sky and I never get any um, obstacle avoidance uh, signals like such as it's doing right now. But um, that's the only thing that kind of wears me out about the RTH. If any of you guys know um, why it's doing that, go ahead and please comment. Um, I don't know nearly everything about these drones, so. I'm just trying to share the information as I understand it with you guys, but 
there's always room to learn and improve so if you guys can tell me why it's doing that I sure would appreciate it so as you can see the drone is getting close to being back at us I'm gonna tilt my gimbal down but I'm not controlling this there I am sitting on the uh, picnic table in my red shirt and look I'm not going to I'm not going to touch the remote to show you guys how accurate and how close it gets back to that target. So here comes the drone. It is landing. Now as you can see, got my remote there and here is the target. Let's see how close it gets. And of course something's going on. You saw where it was going to land. <laughs> it came up and it said not suitable for landing for some reason um, so I'm gonna click OK that's kind of frustrating but you guys see here you guys see here how close it did get in a normal perfect ideal situation um, <laughs> that would have uh, came down perfect for you guys but we got a little error, error for some reason it didn't think it was a suitable landing area so things are definitely still far from perfect um, you know on, on the DJI Mavic Pro but for the most part, it's a pretty impressive piece of technology. But as you guys seen again there, look how close it got. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, um, please smash that thumbs up button. And also, please be sure to subscribe as I will have more DJI Mavic Pro videos coming out. And I also may just get my hands on the DJI Spark. So still a lot more drone content and uh, videos coming up, guys. As always, this has been Dylan. Hope you have a good one.